Russell Brand catches a ton of controversy after baptizing a friend in his uh, in his underwear, in his tidy whities. Mm. This went viral over the weekend. Hello. All right. He posted this shamelessly. He did. Uh, Respect it. I just I never would have taken Russell as a tidy whities kind of guy. You know. You know. If I had to take him as a type of guy. I, I think I agree with you. I don't think it would be a tiny wise guy, but maybe that makes sense. This is kind of eclectic enough. It makes sense. You know. So uh <laughs> so this was going crazy. He just posted it. The chat, the comments went crazy uh in his comments section about the baptism. And he actually even addressed like some people may say I'm baptizing too early, it's too mm. soon, that sort of stuff. You know what I mean? Um but then he actually made a whole video responding, which is, by the way, the way this was done on Instagram is actually pretty flat because it starts with this and then you hit play and then it goes in. But let's look at his response. The tidy whities the baptism um, that almost looks like Brandon Lake to his left. Yeah, or a Viking. Or a Viking. <laughs> Some, someone from the Game of Thrones cast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and this looks like the same river he got baptized in, which mm. I'm not sure where that is. But he got like the, the, the river around London, I think, is where he got baptized oh. in. So I don't know if this is the same place or what's going on here. I suppose looking at it now, it does look a bit immodest, me doing a baptism in underpants like that. But the truth is I took off my clothes and my underpants is all I'm wearing underneath my clothes. Pause it. I love how, <laughs> how like just pragmatic he is. He's like, he's like well, I, I had to get in the water and that's what I was wearing. <laughs> I suppose. He also kind of, it also sounds like a very comedic kind of subtle hint that if he wasn't wearing in underwear that he would just be naked. <laughs> You know, wow. like I took off my clothes and that's what I was wearing under there. <laughs> that's amazing. <sighs> yeah. So I, He's uh, a silly goose. I don't think there's a too soon to be baptizing. Mm, that's a hot take. Yeah. I think like the disciples baptized. Yeah. It wasn't just Jesus that baptized people and Jesus was baptized by his cousin, John the Baptist, but the disciples baptized people. So yeah. I don't, I don't think this is one of those, like it's too early to baptize. Interesting. And if you think about it, baptism, you're more of the facilitator. Mm -hmm. You're not like teaching. You're not like, you know, you're not teaching a crowd of folk. Right, right. Um, you're just facilitating. That's what I'm wearing right now. It wasn't a planned photo shoot. Some of my mates took photos for their friend, actually, Evan, who's getting baptized. Peace out, brother Evan, along with Joe, the church of the two swans. Anyway, some people thought it was a little immodest and me showing off, judging from the comments. You know, I read the comments below. But what I'd say is this. I am a little bit of a show off. The Lord made me a little bit of a show off, but it is for Him that I am showing off now. Not <laughs> Jesus, Jesus juked us. Hey, Jesus juked us. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't think anyone was mad at this dude for this. Well, maybe some people were mad. Yeah, yeah there's there's some some people, people that were mad. You know, I think I think if people were actually mad. Or no, if, I, th I think there are some folks that were roasting him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think if people, I but think, people, folks are mad at Kevin D for wearing black. That's what I'm saying. There got to be some saying. weirdos out there that are like, exactly. You know, well, that's why he's giving kind of a lighthearted response. Sure, but sure. it's really funny. Yeah, it's so. <sighs> it's gonna sound bad. How do I how do I say this? How do I frame this? People were like, if she if he was a she and was a new convert mm -hmm. and was in a bikini, a, a bikini or underwear uh, and a bra. Okay. True. Would that be appropriate? That's a great question. Right? Yeah. It's interesting. It's interesting. But 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. How are we gonna draw this distinction? People are getting mad that his <laughs> the guy getting his peen in his face. <laughs> the guy getting his peen in his face should be mad. Wow. <laughs> Shout out OG. <laughs> Yo, CP is out of control. Yo, CP is out of control. So, okay. Back to this point. This was, this was good. I like where you're going okay. with this. Okay, okay. So if it was a woman. Okay. What is a woman? It would be different. Yes. But I hate to be the guy with double standards. Okay. But isn't this a little different when Russell Brand does it? What did you say? <laughs> like... Okay, real quick, I need you to know about something that is going to expire October 11th, and I don't want you to miss it. As we come out of a tumultuous and divisive election season, it is my heart that we can be the hands and feet of Jesus and live a life that blesses God. And that is why we are having the first ever in-person Bless God Summit, the solution to the culture war. To not just be Christians who are reactionary to whatever is going on, but to live a better story and build better culture. And to be the solution of the culture war, I've brought 
brought in some of your favorite YouTubers, podcasters, speakers, and apologists to equip us by speaking at this three-day event. This isn't going to be like the typical Christian conference, as we'll be doing something that is interactive, social, and giving us an opportunity to connect with each other and some of the speakers and performers. And this is all happening March 27th, 28th, and 29th at the beautiful Westin Spa and Resort in Carlsbad, California. The good news is we got the prices down to the bare bones to make sure that our day one supporters can get a bit of a discount so you can bring your whole family. Now, the bad news is this price is only available until October 11th. So don't miss the best time to get your tickets and go to blessgodsummit.com now. It's a dude. Like, it's clearly... He's not a sex symbol. Like, like who's looking at this and legitimately being caused to stumble into lust? And he's, he's almost being... He's not even purposely being comedic, but it's it's almost comedic that he's in tidy whities. That's the yes. That's kind of the meme. It's yes. like it's like he's not like positioning for the camera. Right. And, it's not like and, he's flexing and oiled up. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no there's no there's no baby oil. Yeah. He you hasn't know? been treading for ten months to get to this one baptism. Right. Where and he the, shreds his clothes. Right. <laughs> right. So so that's the that's the like who's really looking at this like oh man his. You know what I mean? Like the tidy whities caused me to stumble. Mm. Do you think there's a way that a woman could do it and have the same? She would have to have like a one piece on. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. Tag. Double no. standard. It's a double. Absolutely a double standard. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I would say because here's the thing. Russell's a good looking guy, mm -hmm. right? And so like, but I again maybe because I'm a heterosexual male. True. But I even think women aren't looking at this and being caused to stumble personally. Like, I don't think women are looking at this and like, oh my gosh, like, mm -hmm. you know, now the argument for a modest, that's a different argument for sure. Yeah. I you know think, what I mean? Like, I like also, is it a modest? Like, probably, I guess. Yeah. But also you can't really control something that gets leaked. Like it wasn't, I think the context is pretty important. Yes. It's a zoomed in iPhone photo from the beach yes. for a guy that was in a small friend group yes. getting baptized. But he did post this. Oh. Mm. Russell posted it. Uh, Jack made a great point. He said, Jordan Peterson talks about how women prefer written corn and men prefer visual. I was going to say, women are not as visual it's a hyper, creatures. That's a hyper generalization because there, there are women who do struggle with regular corn. Yeah. So that's a bit of a hyper generalization. But typically, there's less of a visual emphasis yes. to this to, to this matter yes. than there would be for men. Yeah. Um, so I think it's one of those, like, it's just an innocent thing that he did that is, you know... Yeah, it is. You know what? It's very innocent. If I'm, a, I'm a, if I'm a, trying not to be PC or anything, and just kind of just boys right now, I'd be like, if I I see this, I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. Like, that's that's what I thought. That's, that's kind of funny. funny. And and then if I if I saw a woman do it, I'd be like, oh goodness, don't show, don't put that. On my so there feet. is a double standard and, there. Yeah, and and I'd be like, oh, that's not appropriate. But is the double Ugh. standard because? Like, is the double standard because of the patriarchy is bad, or is the double standard because men and women are different in the way they're stimulated? I think women are just, yeah, right. I, I think I think that for sure. Yeah, I think men. <laughs> Someone said, "Do you think it would be a big deal?" Celeste said, "Do you think it would be a big deal, big deal if, uh, if he wasn't a celebrity?" It might it might make some sort of like protestia, like you know, yeah. crazy pastor baptizes in tidy whities. Like, yeah. yeah, it is pretty outrageous. Like, yeah, from a very but like. Considering where Russell Brand came from, yes, and the road he's on, right, seeing that is not jarring. It's not like, oh, not I expected that. If I saw like my pastor, I'd be like, Ruslan, yeah. what is Pastor Jeff up yeah. to right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. But he just wouldn't. So I think the context is like, I think if another dude did this that was in a different season of life or different yeah. type of personality or whatever yeah. I, it would be interesting yes. yes it would be like this is bizarre yes. and kind of weird if carl lentz did, did it yeah <laughs> yeah if carl lentz did it it'd be like what about the scoop neck tees and and yes. the baptizing in a tidy whities is yeah. that for attention <laughs> you know like like that would come up because carl lentz you know that man trained a double standard even by the person yes the type of personality Type the, of personality. The type of, the type of um, aura they kind of project. Oof. For me, and check out this passage from Philippians. It is true that some preach Christ out of envy and rivalry. He pulled out that Philippians verse. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Out of goodwill. The latter do so out of love, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. The former preach Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely supposing they can stir up for trouble for me while I'm in chains. That's Paul, Apostle Paul's writing this while he's all banged up and chained up. 
But what does it matter? The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. And because of this, I rejoice. I think that is so beautiful because, you know, I'm a person that's come out of the entertainment industry. I'm so grateful I've been saved, chosen, that he has found me. Amen. But I still got the attributes of a show off. I suppose if I didn't have, I wouldn't even post a thing like that. But the reason I'm in them underpants, because them's my underpants. And the reason I'm doing that baptism, because I love Jesus. Praise Jesus Christ. Let me know in the comments what you think, particularly about Philippians. As long as we're directing people towards our Lord and Savior, how can we fail? How can you not love it? He's like the well most answered, bro. He's just the most, and he's also like he's kind of everything you want in yes. like a celebrity conversion, yeah. which is like owning up, owning up to like, oh, you know, I have faults, but he's then not, pointing back to the gospel yes. every single time. Yes. And he's then, not being defensive. Yeah, openly, he's not taking himself too seriously. Yes, openly being like praise Jesus all the time, not being like, oh, I'm off the internet. Mm -hmm. Bye guys, I, I love Jesus now. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of like he's kind of holding it down. It's kind of yeah. everything we want. Kind of everything that we want. that the chat is is fiending for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Pops to Russell Brand. Hey, thank you so much for checking out the video. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And be sure to check out this video that YouTube is recommending just for you. Let me know if they nailed it. All right, I'll see you over there. Peace.